What is going on guys? It's your boy Nudie and today we have a very big announcement to make. I know I haven't uploaded in a few weeks, I'm so busy, but nevertheless I'm trying my best and I will try to put out more content very soon. But let's look on to some big things to come very soon. If you've been on the channel for a while, then you know that Kiba, Guild MM, and myself have been organizing some events called the Miss Fighting Championship, where we pit the best players against each other in their respective classes. We have a lot of new faces around here, so let me quickly recap for those who don't know. So, a few months back, we held two events, MFC 1 and MFC 2, where we pit a lot of good players up against each other in different classes, and we got some great results out of that. These events were live streamed on my Twitch channel, Nudivert, and we got to take a look at some really cool builds, some different theory craft, and some crazy gameplay from the participants. And the plan was always to crown some champions after a couple events, and we have now reached that point. MFC 3 is this Saturday. The 7th of October at 6 p.m. EST, and we will crown four champions. We will be crowning the Guardian Champion, the Warrior Champion, the Ranger Champion, and the Engineer Champion. This is going to be the craziest event by far. We have legendaries on legendaries on the line, and I'm going to get into that right now when I take you through the matchups. Let's start off with our main event. It is for the Guardian Championship of the MFC. On the line for the winner who wins the title, we have a legendary greatsword, Sunrise on the line. We have Rekju, who is 2-0 in the Guardian division, undefeated. So far, he has made light work of the Guardian division. He took out Seda in MFC 1. Then he went on in MFC 2 and took down Garam. Both matches, he made it look so stylish and so easy. The mechanical gameplay on this player makes him very deserving for a title shot and to try and win that legendary. On the other side, we have an X Factor in Askelov, who we have not seen play yet in the MFC, but that makes him a dark horse. He has a chance to surprise us all and takes on the best Guardian by far in the MFC. Do not miss that main event, guys. All right, and then we get on to our co-main event, just as exciting as the main event. We have the Warrior Champion status on the line, and the prize will be the legendary focus, the Minstrel. We have Raph, currently 2-0 undefeated in the MFC and in the Warrior Division. In MFC 1, he took on Austin and he took him down. MFC 2 came along and he had a match against Cartoon and that was the first time we actually saw Raph lose a round. He looked like he was a mortal, he was on the back foot and he turned it around and took the next two to make him the top dog in the Warrior Division. The fighter that will be across from him is Guffle, and this is yet another X Factor, very similar to Askelov. We have not seen Guffle play in the MFC just yet, but what we know so far is that the MFC is full of surprises, so Guffle will be looking to take that legendary focus off of Raph and claim himself as the best warrior in the MFC. You thought that was it for title fights, but no, we have another legendary on the line in the next matchup, which is a fight for the champion of the engineer division. The engineer champion will be awarded with a legendary that is yet to be determined by Guild MM. First, we have Asan, who made his debut in MFC 2, and look, he made it against one of the biggest names in the MFC, Rekju, and he gave Rekju his first defeat in the MFC. That was in the Engineer Division. He showcased his amazing Engineer skills, and we even saw a bit of trash talk come out of him after he got the win. So look, we know he's exciting, we know he likes to talk, let's see what he can do. But across from him, we see a fighter make his second appearance in the MFC. Caspi made his debut in the first MFC event, but that was in the Mesmer division where he was narrowly beaten by Barry. But the engineer division is a whole new ball game. We know Caspi is incredibly skilled mechanically, and this engineered fight is going to be insane. But look, we have one more title fight here on MFC3, and it is for the Ranger Championship status. The Ranger Champion will be awarded with two Gen 3 Legendary Precursors. And man, I'm excited for this. We have 
Ferret, who we saw in MFC1. He took out Seda. He delivered a brutal KO that day. We knew Ferret was going to be one of the best Rangers coming into this competition when we saw him debut. But wait, his opponent on the other side is Silver, who made his debut in MFC2. And who did Silver beat that night? He beat Asan, the person who we know likes to talk, and Silva actually dished it out back to him. But that wasn't the only fight. Silva also took out World Soul that day, stepping in as a replacement. That makes Silva the best Ranger in the division right now on paper. He has two wins, zero losses, looking to make it three against Ferret. This is by far going to be his biggest challenge yet, and let's see if he can pull through. That may be it for the title fights, but there is so much more action to watch. We have a Revenant bout between Lux Slayer, who fought against Bread in MFC2 and barely lost, but very surprisingly almost won. He will be going up against another player who almost shocked the world by dropping Wrath for the first time, and his name is Cartoon. So both these players have almost taken down Giants in their divisions. This match could go either way. Who knows who's going to win, but I know that the viewers are going to win by seeing some incredible Revenant gameplay. But guess what? The Necromains are also going to win because we have a matchup between Nefras and Edelweiss. Nefras we saw make his debut in MFC2 where he pulled out wacky Scourge builds that seemed to beat every other Necro. He beat Subliminal in MFC2, giving him his first loss. So Nefras is definitely the top Necro in the division at the moment. Nefras will be taking on Edelweiss, who is making his debut in the MFC. We have not seen from him yet, but that is so exciting to me because similarly, Nefras came into the MFC and I hadn't heard of him and he pulled out some real surprises. So let's see if Edelweiss can do the same thing. I am so excited to see what builds these guys pull out. But Edelweiss will also be fighting in another bout, this time in the Guardian division against Bubba Grimhild. Grimhild we have seen in both MFC1 and MFC2 where he has narrowly fell short of a victory but those were both in the Necromancer division. Bubba Grimhild believes he can do better in the Guardian division. Let's see if he can pull his first win. And then we move on to our Elementalist division where we see Caspi fight once again for the second time that night. I guess this can be a bit of a warm up for his main fight. We see him take on Garam who we've seen at both MFC1 and MFC2 but in respect to the Elementalist division, Garam is currently undefeated. I know both these players on a personal level Level, and I know that they're both going to be pulling out some glassy builds, so this one is going to be a short and sweet fight. And then last but not least, in the Mesmer division, we have the return of a hero. We see Voltage fighting VX. Now, Voltage fought in MFC2, making his debut, actually filling in for the main event to fight Barry. We all thought Barry could not be beaten, but if you watch that fight, you remember how close it was. Voltage taking a round off of Barry and shocking the world. But his opponent, VX, we are yet to see from. So, can this be a victory for Voltage or will VX come through and surprise us by taking out a great player? What a debut that will be. And that is the MFC3 event for you, ladies and gentlemen, only on my Twitch channel, which can be found in the description. So go follow it right now. I need your support in the comments. Kiba, Guild MM, and myself do this tournament just to provide good content for you guys. And look, if you want to know some good builds, what the best players are playing, tune into the event because Guild Wars 2 Secrets of the Obscure has a lot to offer in terms of build variety. So you do not want to miss this. Thank you all so much for your support and I will see you on Saturday.